Have you ever wondered how to build your own kitchen island? A place where you can prepare mouth-watering meals, entertain guests, or just enjoy your morning coffee? Well, wonder no more. Today, we are going to walk through the steps of creating your own kitchen island from scratch. It's easier than you might think, and it's a perfect project for those who love a good DIY challenge. First, it all starts with a plan. Sketch out the design and dimensions of your kitchen island. Consider the space available in your kitchen, the functionality you want your island to have, and of course your personal style. Depending on your needs, you might want to include space for seating, storage, or even appliances like a wine cooler or a second sink. Now, gather your materials. You'll need lumber for the frame, plywood for the panels, and a countertop material of your choice. For tools, prepare your saw, drill, screws, and wood glue. Safety gear is a must, so don't forget your safety glasses and gloves. Next, it's time to get busy with the building. Start by constructing the frame of your kitchen island. This will serve as the skeleton or the base structure. Cut the lumber according to your planned dimensions and assemble it using your drill and screws. Make sure everything is square and level. Once you have your frame, attach the plywood panels. These will form the outer surfaces of your island. You can cut them to size with your saw and then secure them to the frame with wood glue and screws. With the basic structure of your kitchen island complete, you can now install the countertop. This could be butcher block, granite, or any other material that suits your style and needs. Secure it to the top of your island frame, ensuring it's evenly aligned. Now you've got the bones of your kitchen island, but we're not finished yet. It's time to add your personal touch. You can paint or stain the wood in any color you like. Maybe you want to match your existing kitchen cabinets, or perhaps you want a striking contrast. And let's not forget about the hardware. Choose handles or knobs that complement your design and install them on your doors or drawers. It's these little details that can really make your kitchen island stand out. Lastly, make sure to seal your kitchen island properly. This will protect it from spills, stains and scratches and ensure it stays looking great for years to come. So there you have it. Plan, gather, build and personalize. Four main steps to creating your very own kitchen island. It's a project that requires a bit of effort and time, but the end result is something functional, stylish and uniquely yours. And isn't that the beauty of DIY? You have the power to create exactly what you want, exactly how you want it. So why not give it a try? You might just surprise yourself with what you can achieve. After all, there's nothing quite like the satisfaction of sitting back and admiring something you've built with your own two hands, especially when it's as useful and beautiful as a kitchen island.